Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Dale Chanel's 48th World, where we are here giving out the news that you can use. You can partake of it however you want to. You can leave it at the front door, or you can get in and uh, voice your opinions after I give my commentary in my comment section. However you feel it, however you want to do it, it's cool with me. Just remember to subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos, and that's how we get down. That's all that's required over here at the channel, okay, which is Deb Chanel's 40s World, and I am Deb Chanel. But we're going to get right on into this story because I'm like, Snoop, 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 Snoop. My gin and juice, you're supposed to be laid back with your mind on your money and your money on your mind. I mean, you got a beautiful wife, you got a beautiful family. And what are you doing in thought land? I don't understand it. Is this new agenda that you, T.I., and some other uh, well-listed, A-listed rappers thinking y'all can have y'all cake and eat it too? And that your women, your um, women you had children by... We're going to sit there and let you dog them like that. I mean, they're not thought lands. They are not thoughty women. They are women who are in it for the long haul. So now it seems like boss lady might have to be deciding whether she want to stay with you or not. I mean, she don't put in work. She been around to die for 20 plus years. But the whole disrespect situation i mean if you're gonna do it with somebody you're gonna be creeping outside of the family unit then do it and don't get caught doing it okay don't get caught with your pants down if that's what the old folks used to say or the season folks back in the 60s 70s okay that's how they got down and the people that really caught onto their wisdom they implemented it in their lifetime as well which I'm like, hey, if you ain't happy at home, go on and divorce and move on. But back in the day, things were kept in the dark and it wasn't talked about when you had affairs. Now, I'm talking about in the 60s and 70s because I'm sure it was going down like that, too, like it is now. These men and these women want to run, have their cake and eat it, too, and still want to say promote the family that they want for the public to see. Okay, oh man, I tell you, I don't understand what's wrong with these men and women. They have somebody good at home, ride or dies for them when it's up, when they're down, and every which way around town. Down for them, uh, their mates, but then they go and feel like they need something else, they need some more excitement, they need to have women out the bazooka as well as men think. I mean, women think they need to have men at the Wazooka. What happened to being happy at home and making things work? Okay? Like a real marriage is supposed to be. You're supposed to grow old. Okay? If you make one infidelity mistake, that's a clear-cut case of leaving the man or the woman. Because are you going to be able to really forget what they did to you i don't think so okay you can forgive each and every day because forgiveness is for yourself so you can move on now forgetting their incident the indiscretion the infringement infraction that they made against you uh, mm -mm. it's hard to take hard to swallow and it wouldn't be fair for you for the long haul because you wouldn't be able to forget the incident you will always be bringing it up here or there i speak from experience because i was cheated on by my ex-husband so it just is what it is you learn to live you learn to go forward and you learn to accept every experience and look at it as a learning tool okay so it won't happen to you again or you can recognize the signs prior to it actually happening and you finding out about it okay because what's done in the dark shall come to light and that's true karma at its best but let's get on into this article people because i can't understand the situation Yes, media takeout brought it out, but uh, other outlets as well. Yet popular stars or popular superstars dot com brought it out, and um, a few others. But I just noticed those two at the time. Okay, but media takeout uh, correspondent they say it's just a staff writer, and I can get with that as well. They titled the article "Snoop Dogg's Wife Leaves Him at the Insta Thought Exposes Affair and." Use. Yes, this young lady 
put Snoop Dogg out on blast out up in the front street. I'm like, okay, you clean up, you clean up, woman. Yeah, it's like Better Right said. But I'm rolling with Snoop thinking he had everything good on Family Front Street. You know what I'm saying? He had redid his vows, had took his wife out to some exotic island, and they were just celebrating, 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 okay? And now he going to come up and do this crap. Snoop, I don't know what's wrong with your girl. I mean, with your boy, with your man. What's going on with you? Your braids too tight? Okay, let's get on into the story. And then we're going to have a little audio uh, to try to con uh, see what was going on in her mind of trying to fool with Snoop. And Snoop fell for the old okie doke because it seemed like he was just mesmerized with her body, her facial expression, uh, um, her facial uh, what do you call it looks or whatnot and he just got captivated and lost somewhere down in that sauce okay but it goes on to say um snoop dogg and his wife shantae brought us allegedly that's my pun intended we got to put that out there okay have finally separated do we know that as being truthful we don't okay we're just going on what we're giving we're making our opinions our viewpoints on what is being shown to us okay and we try to ascertain what we feel might be going on okay it's not the truth it's our truth okay so uh, going back to the article it said snoop dogg and his wife shantae broaders have finally separated media takeout news have learned we spoke with one of shantae's friend that's their source okay it's always somebody in your camp dropping tea on you whether you want it to be dropped or not oh, who knows she probably told the friend to go on and leak it and expose his behind all right Makes it look good for her when it comes to litigation time. But just going back to the article, it says uh, we spoke with one of Shantae's friends yesterday and they told us that she and her rapper husband are now separated. Now, as we know, separated don't necessarily mean divorce. In some of the cases, it does mean that, but not all cases. OK, that's my pun intended, not in this article. OK, as this morning, Shantae all but confirmed the separation on social media herself. Shantae, who has been married to Snoop Dogg for more than 20 plus years, posted this on her instagram account if you go to her instagram account you will see some emojis uh with a question type emoji what's going on uh emoji that's crying and a broken heart emoji and it was titled you ever watch somebody you love turn into somebody you don't know honey that's life in itself and that's um uh, prevalent in relationships okay whether they're the same sex relationships or they're heterosexual relationships sometimes people outgrow each other and some people just i don't know just get lost in the sauce and i mean deep lost in the sauce and they don't care because when you set the parameters for them to go and do in and everything or you give them passes once a month or once a week um they get used to it and they continue to go on down and press the gas harder on what they want to do because they know you're going to always be there then if these men and women start you know taking back their relationships and saying you know if you do this you do that again we through and mean it then it may be some people turning uh over a new leaf and try to be respectful and loyal to their mates but if you got everybody out here at least 85 percent of the population doing what they want to do however they want to do it and they ain't worried about nobody else's feelings but they sales can you see this world getting chaotic as we go along and into the future okay it's going to be a lustful world of i do what i will and the other situations that you may be thinking of is totally irrelevant to me. I'm going to do me. Okay, I'm going to live my own life on my own terms. Whether you are with it or not, it doesn't really matter. And if you take a look uh, biblically about it, you know, it's almost like, okay, you love or yourself. You're going to do whatever you want to do. Fuck everybody else in a sense. Okay, so it is is what it is you live your life how you feel you need to live your life okay and hopefully it is um uh, 
pleasing to the Lord or pleasing to a certain way where you can repent about it and not do it again. I don't know because see, I don't know everybody's spir spiritual walk. OK, but anyway, that was just a little edification. Then it goes on to say that was my pun intended, not in this person's article. But going back to the article, it says, so what happened to end their marriage? One of Snoop's side chicks is exposing his affairs and his drug use. And it was all too much for Shantae to take. Uh, her name is Selena Powell, I believe it is. But we know that first name is Selena. An alleged mistress gave an interview earlier this week where she exposed her multiple affairs with Snoop. OK, not one, not two, but multiple, meaning several, possibly over five times. OK, then she claims that during one romantic encounter, Snoop sniffed cocaine off her breast. Not hard to believe now, is it? All right. It is plausible that that could have, should have, would have happened. Right. Then we got Selena said in her video that she and Snoop hooked up twice in 2018, but she admits that it was her who sought out the mar married rapper. And that's OK. That's what we call thoughts. That's what we call home records. They are out there to do that from the beginning of time. But guess what? It's up to that person not to be seduced, not to be entrapped, not to give in because he or she should know they got somebody much better at home. They have loyalty. OK, but it seems like it is what it is in Snoop Dogg's case. Um, then we go back to the article. It says in their first meeting, Snoop flew her out to Los Angeles and she stayed at the rapper's spare apartment. She said he put a line of cocaine on her booze and snorted it while they're having sex. OK, he gave her money afterwards for shopping. She was also invited to the BET Awards, but she didn't go. I find it so ironically, she quoted, how literally the next day was the BET Awards and he was preaching about his love for God and how he loves his wife, he said. Is she talking about he was blaspheming? Well, blaspheming, okay, about the sanctity of marriage, but yet he couldn't uphold it the night before, okay? Mischief and misdeeds done in the dark that certainly would come to the light. And that was my pun intended that wasn't in this person's article going back to the article it says um their second hookup however didn't go as well for her after sex he gave her no money and she was dropped off on the side of the road by his bodyguard following that she went off on him when he began ignoring her calls and have since threatened to expose him now isn't that like a tricky thought that would do such things but no, why did you bring your pants down and you knew wrath was going to come out of that? OK, but let's hear a little bit of the audio that was being played when she was calling herself dropping tea on Mr. Snoop, uh, hoping that the video would get back to his wife. And evidently somebody got it back to her or she walked up on it on herself or maybe he confessed. I don't know. All this is allegedly and it's a family affair over here. We talk about things. OK, we talk about the plausibilities the possibilities and whether or not we feel he did do it or not okay do we smell set up yes it was but he fell right on into the trap okay but let's little, let's listen a little bit a little bit of that audio here we go <laughs> Started undressing me, we had sex. While we're having sex, this man literally. 
really got up and I wasn't like, oh my god, so he really left, like whatever. Mind you, there was no condoms, no nothing. So he got up, he went, he went over to the thing and got like a bag and I was, thought that was like a condom. I was like, oh. So he came back over and he busted down a line of cocaine on my titty and snorted it. And he was like, oh, did you want to learn? I was like, no, man. And, and then like we went back to having sex or whatever. And every, like, five minutes or whatever, he, like, wanted me, like, he wanted to do coke. And it was just so, so weird. Like, he was doing lines of coke off everywhere, even, you know. So, I was like, okay, like, this is so weird shit. Like, this new dog is doing lines of cocaine off. So, it was just whatever, you know, it was just whatever. Then, when we got done, he's so weird. Like, he likes, to, once he's done, like, yeah, I thought I was gonna, you know, get dressed and leave. No, this man was like holding me like on his chest and he was like rubbing my hair and you know I had nails so I was like going like that on like his on his chest and he was like, oh. I was like what the fuck is this man doing? And he was just like, Oh, it feels so good, it feels so good and he was like get on top of me and I got on top of him and he was like rub my nipples and it was just so freaking weird and I was like, Oh my god, like this man is weird. So anyway, like finally he was like done and, you know, and I was getting dressed and he was like, So the BET words are this weekend, like I want you to come and I was like, You want me to come with you? And he was like, um yeah, well I didn't say it like that. I was like, Oh wow, like you're going to he was like, Yeah, but like you can bring a friend if you know anyone out here, like uh I'll get you taken care of, here's some tickets and here's some money. He was like, go, go shopping or whatever. Mind you, like, I I did not pack for this shit. And I was like, I don't even know the people wear the T words. I was, like, freaking out. So, obviously, I didn't wear the T words. But I did run up his fucking room service. I ordered so much shit. And I was, like, taking cute selfies and doing whatever. And he didn't see me for the rest of that trip because I didn't go to the T words. He was busy with press and all that. I find it so ironic how literally the next day was the BET Awards and he was preaching about his love for God and how he loves his wife. But I was like, okay. And I got a lot of proof. So I was like, okay, like, if you need to be, I'm going to put this motherfucker on glass. Whatever. It was literally killing me not to put this man on glass. But since I was labeled the liar, I can't just expose text messages. Like, I have to have some physical proof. Otherwise, the shade room, Gossip in the City, TMZ, like, they won't run it. They won't run it. So, at this point, uh, I was like, okay, we're, we'll keep it cool. Then me and my friend Jade, we moved to um, LA together. And I was like, oh, like, I'm busy. I'm like, okay, hey, 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 mom, we're cool. The first time I saw him, I mean, the second time I saw him, he was good and gay. Okay, but that was pretty much it. She goes in because she's just long-winded with everything and she wants to make her story more salacious than what it is. She's just pretty much a prostitute for hire is how I saw it. But I was just very disappointed. I'm like, damn, Snoop, did you not learn your lessons the couple of times before with other women that you've gotten uh, call girls or escorts or however you view them did you get in trouble before man you're supposed to be laid back with your mind on your money and your money on your mind drinking gin and juice yes and making rap music and messing with um the cooking show you have over there with martha stewart and just flossing and bossing all the way around you ought to be sitting down somewhere you're getting too old for this kind of stuff but anyway, that's all I had on that commentary. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Y'all can partake of it and say, well, damn, another dumb, another one done bit the dust, okay? Because definitely, if Miss Shantae wanted to get um, Mr. Broadus together, hmm, that'll be a 50-50 situation. A 50-50-50 situation, okay? So, hopefully, Snoop will get his act together. He would go to some type of counseling therapy with his wife and try to see why he's just into all 
these other women and his wife and the disrespect that is so much mounting up on top of one another on top of one another i'm like girl don't go out like ti's wife tiny honey she's accepting of in and everything okay but it's just like hey just because your bread is butter today don't mean you can't bread and butter or butter your bread yourself another day okay especially if you're getting totally disrespected and your man or your woman is out there cheating and they're not protecting themselves because if you didn't hear it in the clip she said they didn't have no condoms they weren't wearing no condoms so if she go around him and pimp herself out and and, and go and meet rappers or any other type of influential type entertainers out there and she dropping it like it's hot and ain't nothing being covered Child, please. Okay, now you're going to take this mess back to your wife and be intimate with her when you're not supposed to be wearing any type of condoms or anything of that, Snoop. Come on, baby. Come on. Damn. But that's all I had for this video, y'all. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about. Do you think it's true uh, about what the uh, thought little girl, and I call thought women little girl because that's what they are. Uh, when you're messing with somebody else's property. Okay. When the other person is not there saying they agree. That you can go on and. Uh, what do you call it. Satisfy their mate. Because they don't want to for whatever reason. It's you know being like that. But other than that. I will see y'all next video. Take care. Bye bye. Oh and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You know I like it when you subscribe. Share and like my videos. Okay. Bye-bye.